it's Sunday morning. I totally slept in, but we're going to the market. Yay! Okay, we're here. It is five to eight. Uh, it wasn't very good this morning. <laughs> it was cold. I stayed in bed. But there's no competition. What's meant for you won't go past you. Yeah, that's what my my mum always said. Okay. So I have been here for three hours. It's like 11 o'clock. Um, so I ended up getting a good few bits actually. I'll do a thrift haul when I get in. I spent about 23, 25, something like that. Okay, I'll see you when I get home. Hi there, so I'm back home with my thrift. Um, we're just going to go through it. I actually, I didn't get a huge amount considering I was there for nearly three hours, but um, we'll go through it. So I have a bundle that I got all from the one guy. So Errol Market, um, which is where I go, it's a, a car boot sale, um, but then it's also like a market. So they, like people rent out like units. Um, you know, all year. So um, it's like the re regular people have got their their own stalls there. So this one guy has his own stall there, but I've never been to him before, and his prices were super decent. So I got I think six or seven items for ten pounds. So I'm gonna go through them. And the first one is probably one of the better items I got today. Is this Shelley? It'll be probably twenties Art Deco. Bars. It's actually in a really good condition. There's no problems with this. So I think we could probably get about 40 50 pounds for that. The next one I got from him was this Carnival Glass Vase. Now I still have to do a wee bit of research on this because I'm not sure if this is fenton or not, but um, it's still a brilliant vase and at least 20 25 for that. Um, a couple of things I kind of, I'm not really sure why I bought them. Just I was kind of bundled together and then, but this is a vintage, it's like it got a bit of a luster cat, um, mid-century. And then this one is a mid-century little planter and I believe this is Shorter and Sons. Um, so we could maybe get like eight, ten each on these. Um, the next one is, I had to write this one down, Elizabeth Skipworth Lotus Pottery. Um, it is a bill. Absolutely beautiful glaze. So I had got another bill another time and I'd researched bulls. So I recognised that the form of this was... A good maker even though it's not marked so that was quite easy to find um all of the lotus pottery have got um like a flower or a leaf or two swirls it's all this kind of design the issue with this one will be is a manufacturer's act issue actually it has a chip there but it has been glazed over as you can see so this happened whilst making the piece and hopefully maybe 25 to 30 for that as well. And what else did we get from the guy? That's one, two, three, we got that. Oh, this as well. Let's put this down now. So this is really cool. This is a mid-century Italian planter, plant pot. It has a chipperini there, but we will forgive it because you can't get much more mid-century modern design than that. And then I think the last thing I got from him, these are filthy, these bookends. Ceramic, made in Italy, definitely vintage, and look at the state of them. They are disgusting. So we're going to, look, there's actual cobwebs in there. <laughs> so I need to really clean these. I think there are a little few little chips, but not too bad. You know what these things can be like? Um, well, from what I can see under the muck. So I got that whole bundle for £10. So I think we did well there. Next two pieces I got from another 
vendor who always is there. They've got the same stall as these two pieces of Murano. Now, she had this on for a fiver. And then I saw this. This wasn't, um, it's very summer, so isn't it? You can see it's amazing. Definitely mid century. Um, there was no price on this. Um, unfortunately, this has a little boo boo here. It's just, I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's just took a slice off. It's not a huge boo boo, but it's a boo boo. So I said, um, I wanted this, um, but I was struggling to leave this behind just because of this small chip. And she went, how about the two of them for a fiver? I was like, okay, <laughs> deal, <laughs> sold. So £2.50 each. I'm thinking of putting them on together because I think they complement each other quite nicely. But um, lovely anyway, so that's my son playing. And then um, another thing I got was this Milford glass orb. It's absolutely beautiful. Now you do get these um, with a little hole at the side that you can put a tea light in. Um, and they're smaller, I think, but this one is just the orb. And I got this for four pounds. I wasn't sure about spending that amount of money on it, but I did really like it. Um, and I think we could get maybe 25 for this. So, and then I got a few books. They had, they had a children's hospice book stall. So, um, I spent a fiver there just because I want to. But yeah, that's my, quite a small haul, but I think we did quite well. Definitely Shelley and our Murano. And then obviously the, I do love these two. They're just really my style. I, I just really like these. So, loving it. I think we made some good profit today. Um, in total, including the books, I think I spent £24. So 10 15 19 and a fiver for the books. 24 Did I just do math? Anyway. Okay, so I will upload again soon. Thank you, bye.